you need to be able to use the laws of indices to uh, perform a number of different things. Okay, to start with, I'm going to just calculate these and using these laws here. Now, 27 to the power of a third. Okay, so this one comes out of this one. And this last uh, rule here tells me that the denominator that I have is what I need to root it by. So the denominator is 3, so I need to cube root 27. So this is going to be equal to the cube root of 27, which I know is 3. Now the next one, 5 to the power of negative 2. Now this one's like this one I have here. So a to the power of negative m is equal to 1 over a to the m. So the negative power tells me to perform a reciprocal like this. And then I just power it by m. So here I will have 1 over 5 squared. So this is just going to be 1 over 5 squared. And that then becomes 1 over 25. Um, so now we're at 16 to the power of 3 over 2. And I'm going to use this last one again. Um, I've, I've written this in two different ways. It's easier to use this one because when I take the root of the number, um, I've made my number smaller and then I can um, power it by wh whatever I'm left with here. So if you did it this way around, you're going to get a really large number here and then you'll have to take the root of that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this one to calculate this. So I'm going to have squ uh, square root of 16 and then once I've worked that out, I'm going to cube it. So square root of 16 is 4, so I have 4 cubed, and that's going to be 64. Now, this last one here, I have 64 to the power of negative 2 thirds. That's a combination of these two. So the negative power will tell me to take the reciprocal. So I'll have 1 over 64 to the power of 2 thirds, and then I need to cube root 64 and then square it. So this is going to be 1 over 64 to the power of 2 thirds. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to cube root, um, cube root it. So it's going to be cube root of 64. And I'm going to square it. And then this then becomes 1 over 4 squared, which is 1 over 16. Okay, so you also need to be able to simplify expressions like this. Okay, the expressions can be more complicated than this as well, um, but these are some. I'm going to be showing you some of the more um, basic rules here. So again, we're going to be applying these uh, laws of indices to uh, simplify these. Now, the first one's very easy. Um, this one's going to be um, x to the power of five. The next one um, is going to be ten because two times five. Remember, when we're multiplying, we can swap the order and multiply those so 2 times 5 is 10 and x cubed times x to the 4 well we're going to use this rule again we're going to add the powers and it's going to be x to the 7 so it's going to be 10 x to the 7 and here again um, this one actually if I write it as a fraction first it's easier to see what I'm going to do so this one's going to be 8 x to the 7 over 4 x to the 3 now I can see that 8 divided by 4 is going to leave me a 2 at the top. If I divide both 8 and 4 by 4, I'll get 2 there and I'll get 1 here. And then I'll get x to the 7 divided by x to the 3. Well, that's this rule. x to the 7 divided by x to the 3 will mean that I'm going to be subtracting the powers. So this is going to be 2 x to the power of 4. Um, here, x squared to the power of 5 is using this law here where I'm going to be multiplying these powers. So this is going to be x to the power of 10. Now, this is one where I, I find lots of people make mistakes. Um, what they end up writing is 3x to the 12. So they, they multiply the powers here, but they don't do 3 to the power of 3. That needs to happen, and I'm just going to show you why that needs to happen. So cubing... Um, cu we're cubing everything in this bracket, so that can be rewritten or, you know, we can think of it like 3x to the 4 times 3x to the 4 times 3x to the 4. And then we can think of it like we did with this second one, where we're going to do 3 times 3 times 3, which is 27. And x to the 4 times x to the 4 times x to the 4 is going to be x to the power of 12. So this is going to be 27 x to the power of 12. 
So remember, this is one where many people make mistakes. They often don't write the 27. Instead of the 27, they will write a 3 here. Okay? But remember, when it's like this, you have to cube the 3 and you have to cube the x to the power of 4. And then we get 27x to the 12. And here again, this uh, powering by 2 thirds needs to happen to the 8. And it also needs to happen to the x to the power of 6. Now, when I do eight to the uh, when I do eight to the power of two thirds, so what I end up having is eight to the power of two thirds times x to the six to two thirds. So that's what I have. Now, eight to the two thirds. We've done something similar um, already. So we're going to cube root the eight, and then we're going to square it. And here, um, because I've got x to the power of six to the power of something, that's using this rule where I'm going to multiply 6 by 2 thirds. Okay, so what I end up having is, so square root of 8, square root of 8 is 2, and if I square that, I'm going to get 4. So I'm going to get 4 here, and I'm going to have x to the power of, so 6 times 2 thirds, so 6 divided by 3 is 2, 2 times 2 is 4, so x to the power of 4. I could have done it the other way around, I could have done 6 times 2, which is 12, 12 divided by 3 is also 4. Okay, so 4x to the power of 4. Um, this last one, this last one is also similar to this one, um, but we just have a negative here. So this negative would mean I'll take the reciprocal. So I'll start by saying this is equal to 1 over um, 9x to the power of 10 to the power of 3 over 2. Okay, so... I've, I've, wor I've, I've worked with the negative already by writing the reciprocal and so I, ne I only need to power it by 3 over 2 this time so again the 9 I need to power by 3 over 2 and x to the 10 to that as well so what's that going to look like we're going to have 1 over 9 to the power of 3 over 2 times x to the 10 to the power of 3 over 2 okay so this one would be 9, so square root of 9 is going to be 3, and then 3 cubed is going to be 27. So I'm going to have, this is equal to 1 over 27. And here, remember, we're going to multiply the powers. So uh, 10 times 3 over 2, I can do that by doing 10 divided by 2 is 5. 5 times 3 is 15. So this is going to be x to the power of 15. Now, using everything that we've done so far, we're going to be um, solving these two equations. Okay, so if I take the first one um, and rewrite it here. So, x to the power of 2 thirds equals 25. Now, I can raise both sides of my equation to the same power, and that will remain um, equivalent. So, if I was to say I'm doing x to the 2 thirds to the power of 3 over 2, this will be the same as 25 to the power of 3 over 2. Now, as I'm going to, because the denominator here tells me what to root it by, I'm going to be square rooting 25. And when I do that, I need to take a positive and a negative value. So, uh, and on this side, on the left hand side, 2 thirds times 3 over 2 is going to give me 1. So I'm going to get x to the power of 1 on this side, which is just x. So I'm going to have x is equal to uh, square root of 25 and positive and negative and then I'm going to cube that and that's going to be uh, plus or minus 5 cubed which is going to be equal to plus or minus 125 so x is equal to plus or minus 125 um, here I've got y uh, the second equation I have here so I'll just copy that again um, so this equation, y to the power of negative 3 over 2 equals 64. Again, I'm going to um, do something similar to what I did last time, which is um, take a power on each side. So let's say we're going to use y to the power... We've, we've got y to the power of negative 3 over 2. Now, how can I make that 1 by multiplying something? Well, I need negative 2 over 3. So here, if I have negative 3 over 2 times negative 2 over 3... This is just going to be y to the power of 1. So I need to raise the other side by the same power, 2 over 3. And on the, on the left-hand side, I'm going to have y. And on this side, I'm going to have 1 over 
64 to the power of 2 thirds. So this would mean I need to cube root 64 and then square it. Cube root of 64 is 4 and 4 squared is 16. So y is equal to 1 over 16. Now here are some practice questions for you to um, try yourself.